It's high noon. Draw! Oh yeah! Hello, this is Madison Fever 7 for another playthrough, that's promised. And today will be the true finale of this game. Yes, we didn't finish part 1 and 2 last time, part 1 being <laughs> nearly as frustrating. Like, seriously, the, the bad luck I had was horrendous. I was able to transfer to uh, <laughs> the other chapter today. And then we also uh, can't find the eyes of revenge too. But there's one more enemy before us, the Ha, the guy that killed Sifu. But uh, this will be it today. This will be the finale of the whole game itself. This is why I did Fires 1 and 2 um, together. Because I want the third, I want the final part of the game, the, finale, the third part of the finale, to be as a separate video. Because, you know, it's the end of that, the credits, blah blah blah. So, let's go. So, here we are. Finale. The last promise. No, you can't. You can't do this. I am your master now, you ignorant corpse! Why can't I... Why aren't you under my control? You're no... You're not powerful enough to direct the fear of Ethan. But it's as strong and forceful as it is within me. Isn't it ironic, Maha, that your demise would be a consequence of your own actions? You wouldn't dare. Without me, your very soul will never rest. Your body's evil will dissipate into the air and remain there. You'll live a fate worse than death. Don't kill me! I have the power to slay dragons. So rich to wield that power. Do you truly expect me not to use it? Pure fools have created something so much stronger than yourself. Now suffer the price, Laha. This is a nightmare. Ugh, this was so stupid. Yep. Yep. Laha's dead. He literally gets killed off screen. Well, on screen, but not by us. This by someone else. This is a real missed opportunity here that they could have like and yeah, that's some epic boss fight. He's like the crappy version of Nergel. Seriously, he's, he's nothing original. Let's see, what's E further power? Quintessence. Quintessence. Pretty much what Nergel did. Reanimated corpses. Nergel did morphs. Again, the difference is that we actually had the conclusion of Nergel and he had actual proper motivation. The heart is just this shaggery douchebag that gets killed off screen. It's like, he's completely pointless. He, he was literally just there to have someone kill Siegfried. Yeah, he was so stupid. But, okay, I'll get more into this a bit later. But, yep, yeah, he's dead. Is that... It's him. The Har is dead? Does that mean we've won? Did someone defeat the Har for us? But who could have... There's someone back there behind the Har's corpse. You've done well, everyone. But now, one more challenge awaits you. Dad! Siegfried! Sig. It's good to see you, everyone. I never imagined I would be back in my own body. Your own body? Dad, I'm so glad you're okay. Hold on, my son. It's not safe to get close to me. I'm not completely in control of my body. Stay where you are. What? Dad? Secret, are you really alive? Hold on, I'll explain everything. Everything? <laughs> then you're going to have to do a lot of explaining. From the very beginning, Secret. <clears throat> I know, Kellek. First of all, the heart is the one who revived me from the dead. And after I died, he took my corpse. He put it into an Ethereum. An Ethereum? That's normally a person's soul, the purest form of ether won't change containers unless it has a lingering attachment to something in this world. Kelly, I believe yours was your amulet. Yeah, of yours. Yes, you're right. But somehow the heart forces her of ether in my body. He moved it from my body, freshly rendered dead, and into this soul of mine, which I had lost years ago. And so for a time being, I was conscious. My soul contained within a sword. So that's why you say you didn't think you'd be back in your own body. But why can't we get close? But if you do, I may end up killing you. What? Dad, you'd never. It's true that I've never, that I've been revived. And the process wasn't perfect. My body was fixed by the heart. So it could be used as a container for my soul once more. My heart is beating once more. And even my wounds have been healed. However, some of the connections between me and my body have been 
7. I feel like someone got too close. I instinctively swing my sword to protect my body. So you've been revived, but it's not perfectly. You're like a romantic, you like reanimated corpse. But with your original ether, you still remember all of us and you retain your emotions. That's right. I would never intentionally want to harm any of you. So tell me, how is the war? The defeat of Magnus. After Emperor Lewis fell, we got warped here. According to Leon, it was Zahar who brought us here. Perhaps he wanted to show me to you guys. That's... What happened to Leon? Is he dead? Yes, I defeated him. He had never hurt another person in this world. I'm glad, Kelly. You've become strong. Yeah, but more importantly, yes, let me return to what I was telling you. You said you'd tell us everything, right? But what more is there to tell us, Sigrid? We've won the war, and we have you back. What left is there to do but finally go home? Anakin, I'm not the great leader you think I am. Sean, I'm not the great father you make me out to be. i made so many foolish mistakes in my life. I can't count them. I've hidden so many truths, and even more lies. I'm not the Siegfried you all know. Father, what are you talking about? You've done so much. Don't say such things. Not when I just got your back. I'm sorry, Sean, but you have to know the truth. Ten years ago, the love of my life nearly died. I was born in Yulia, but moved to Regalia. I became a knight, Commander. Even at this point in time, Count Prey's of Regalia had passed. Magnus was building itself up. We knew it would start a war. Frightened by the overwhelming military of Magnus, the world was thrown into chaos, including Valencia. Our various leaders got together to discuss a course of action. However, that course of action involved surrendering to Magnus. As a knight, I didn't want to surrender our people to Magnus. But because of my rashness, tragedy came to my footstep. Dorset, showing you were so young and so traumatized. You forgot it all, but now I'll tell you. I'll tell you how your mother died. The Guardian Outskirts. Who are they? The Knight's family. If we don't hurry up, that meeting is going to end. And their Knight Commander will get back before we escape. We have the permission to silence anyone we see. Let's go in. What if I'm... What if I most fear... Ugh. If what I most... Oh, sorry. If what I fear most is true, then I already be. Please, Lily. Please make it... Please, Lily. Let me make it in time. Yep, that is a young secret. <laughs> Stop! You don't yet realize the consequences of your own actions. It's me you want, right? But my husband will not let you get away with this. You're forfeiting your lives for making me, him your enemy. Shut up, we don't care. We get paid to carry out a mission, that's all. No, you fool. You're next, kid. Ah. Oh, you bastard, stare for my son. It's you, the champion Regalia. Damn it, that knife pierced through my armor. Really? Can you hear me? Hold on, I'll get someone to help you. It's no use, Sigrid. I can't hold on much longer. I'm not as tough as you. Don't say that. Don't give up! Sigrid, I didn't think things would end this way. But now that I'm dying, I'm starting to forget things. Can you leave me with one promise? Lily, please don't. Come on, Sigrid. You can make me one last promise. For me, right? I be happening. Don't panic, this isn't the end. You still have so much to live for, Sigrid. I know you. Love me, and that's why I will it. I'm worried that you'll lose your path, but you can't. My country is losing its way. You must set it right and protect our son. You will, right? On my name is Sigrid, I will uphold this vow. I know I'm bad at keeping promises, but I... I will keep this one, no matter what it takes. I will save your country and protect our son. Thank you. I no longer have any regrets. I lived an amazing, happy life, Sigrid. And for which worth, and for its worth, I truly love you. No, Lily! Don't go yet. I, I'm not ready. Lily, wake up. Open your eyes. Please. Lily. Yep. And so, because I spoke up against the other territories, or rather, their decision to side with Magnus in the war, 
I suffered the loss of a life that meant more to me than my very own. But I made a promise, and that spurred me on. Dad, is this really all true? I can't believe I don't remember. In an attempt to protect your own innocence, your mind may have blocked out those memories. When you came to, it was like you had forgotten two years of your life. I didn't want you to share the same burden that I did. At least, not at your age. But you've seen me die once. There's no more reason to keep any more secrets. Sig, I'm sorry. Kelly, what's come over you? I judge you harshly for your actions and behaviour. Without first trying to understand their circumstances, I hated how you charged into every battle and seemingly cared only about victory and protecting your son. But ultimately, you were only trying to keep a promise, just like I was the king. It seems we were more alike than we could have imagined. Yes, perhaps you're right. Thanks to that day, I was injured deeply, and so I focused on helping Sean grow up. Then one day, Shun and I were attacked by Magnians. Apparently, they wanted to be sure they had eliminated all potential sources of opposition. And so our journey started. And throughout that journey, I was always scared. I was scared I would lose Shine, but I would be too slow, and I wouldn't be able to save my wife's country in time, like I promised. Dad. What do you mean, Nilly's country? Weren't you both born in Valencia? There's one more thing you should know, Sean. I was born in Ulia, a territory of Valencia. But your mother was born in Magnus. No way. Magnus? It's true. Your mother, a noble from Magnus, had blonde hair like many others. It's a very common trait amongst descendants of nobility in Magnus. Sean, your hair is just like your mother's. So I'm half Magnian? I don't understand. I'm sorry, Sean, I kept it too many secrets. I decided that in order to save Magnus, I had to first destroy it. But it seemed that when I died, I left you guys with that job. Sigrid. <laughs> my form was rebellion for selfish reasons, and I only ever thought of fulfilling a promise that to love of my life. But even so, you saved so many lives in doing so. Despite the reasoning, you still saved this continent. No one could deny that, Sigrid. No, Anakin. The ones who have saved this continent are the people on it. I set a blaze of flames of change with my own candle but it will be everyone else who fueled the fire. I didn't take any time to understand my enemies or my companions. I'm no leader, and I'm no hero. Now listen everyone, I need one last favor from you. One more challenge awaits you. Can you finally explain your words? I am awake of the past, a ghost of an era long past. Even now as we speak, my ether is dissipating. My body can no longer serve as a container for my soul. If I continue to live as I am now, I will suffer a fate worse than death. That's right. Your soul would linger in the air, fragmented, stuck between the states of life and death. The only other option would be to put you in another ethereum. I'm sorry, Kirk. I don't desire that. I'm tired of living. I want to see Lily again. I should have died ten years ago. Dad, how could you say that? What about me? Don't you love me? Shine, I love you more than you could ever know. I don't regret being able to spend the last ten years with you either. But you must understand, my son. I don't belong in this world anymore. There. And so I need you all to do me one last favor. No matter what it takes, you must kill me. What? You're crazy! Dad, why? Why can't you live? I told you, son. If I continue to live using this body, my evil dissipates, severing this connection between this body. But if you strike down this body of mine now, all my connection to this world will be severed and my soul will finally be able to rest itself. If there's a hell or heaven after that, I don't know, but... Sigrid, how could you? You ask your own friends who care for you and trust you? More than anyone else to kill you? Can you even begin to imagine the pain and that shun that all of us went through when you died once before? And still in that body of yours, with that face of yours, you have the guts to cast me to kill you? I can't believe you're so Sigrid. <laughs> Is there... No other way? No. There is only the one. Then, I'll do it. If it's to save my friend from a fate even worse, I'll do whatever it takes. Kerlik, you've changed. I truly thought we would never get along. Nor I. It seems that we both desperately need to expend our words. For us to see the true value in all the people and things in them. I'm glad I met you, Sigrid. Despite your self-deprecation, I'm honored to be your comrade. As well as I, Kellek. But as I am now, but as I am now, I need you all. 
The wound I was seen many years ago has been healed. My body is at full strength, or even greater, and no normal human be able to defeat me. Even the heart unable to control my power fill in an instant. Unless you will team up and kill me, I will continue to suffer this life internally. Secret. You've never been much of a reasonable person, have you? I'm too weak to do anything to save you, so I must kill you? If this is the truth, then it hurts me more than any wound. Don't feel bad, Anakin. There's nothing anyone can do. Life isn't a fairy tale. Some hardships can't be overcome. Even so, Sigrid, you idiot. Anakin, from the moment I met you, I knew I could trust you. And I still trust you more. I know you can do it. Shall I? I don't know what to say. But there's no other option, and so I've made my choice. Dad. I can't do it, Dad. There's no way. I'd rather die. I know. Just leave it to your friends. They're strong, and they'll help you. I'm sure they helped you while I was gone as well. And so as long as you trusted them, they are the to help you. Don't hate them, Sean. This is what I want. I, I know. But still, so hard. I hate this world for being this way. I'm so helpless to save my own father. It's the worst. Damn it. I'm sorry, Sean. This is the last time I make you suffer. But it's like I said before. One more challenge awaits you. And this challenge will be a tougher than all your others. Now everyone, prepare yourselves. Yep, we must defeat Siegfried. And yeah, he is not messing around. He is brutal. A sword force in lightning. Here we revive through rib imbuements of ether, strong, just and loving. Helm excited upon knights the highest caliber. He is ridiculous. Dear are his stats, yes, they are all maxed out. The good news is, he doesn't move. Bad news is though that Technically, he does actually restore, he does heal himself a little bit and a lot of HP. Basically, it's like him being on a throne a little bit, he restores a lot more health. But I'll be back once I made my final preparations. So, uh, see you guys then for the final battle. And I am back. Bringing the best of the best right here. I'm only bringing you for extra healing. This is where the Fortifier staff comes in. Yeah, we're going to be needing that. So all the best spells, pretty much most of them are in the as well. And supports, those are really important too, so we're going to be using those. Also, I forgot to show, I guess, the other um, secrets as well. Uh, let's go to the trade, I'll put them all in my inventory, that's fine. So let's see. So secret one is, let's promise to live life to the first without regrets. Never give up without a fight. Live life with an open mind and never let it close, for all we know, it may never reopen. The world ends with you if you want to enjoy life, expand your world. I kill someone you love because he kills someone I love. In order to protect what is most important, I will become stronger. Oh, in, order, in order to protect what is most important to me, I will become stronger. There we go. We all have all six secrets, but there's one more to get. The final secret? You just need to beat the game. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Beat the game and you get the final secret. That's literally it. Pretty simple, really. But anywho, and a bit low and notorious. Luckily, I still have a bit of Hamlin staff left, so I think I might do that to Kedic to restore his own mind. Being sure you bring the Iron Moon and the Amulets, they might actually come in handy for some accuracy. <laughs> I actually give that to Ace instead, maybe. Maybe, yeah. But I feel like his accuracy isn't that good. But, anywho. You don't need to bring the movie or anything. Um, that wouldn't make much sense. <laughs> as long as you have them in the inventory, that's all good. But okay. Let's fight. Everyone, this is the hardest task I've set up, 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 I've set upon you thus far. Gather your strength and face for using the same bravery courage and strength you used to get here. You've seen me count this time before, and I know you can do it once more. Steal your hearts and ready your weapons. This, my comrades, is your final battle. So, we use Octorius. Luckily, uh, I don't have any crit weights, but as you can see, he's uh, no pushover. <laughs> see? He can double me. And that's with Illustrious. 
Let's see what my speed is. My speed is 27. <laughs> yeah. So that's why, uh... That's why having, uh, um... That's why having terminations like here is really useful here as well. Oh, so I gave Imperius to uh, Tekken. I might as well. So, first we need to get everyone up close as possible, so that way we can start attacking. Yeah, we all need to attack at once and stuff. Be careful, he's pretty much insanely powerful. Leviathan as well, since it was a really nice lance. That gives you plus 5 speed, so that might give you an advantage. Let's see, speed 27, 27 plus 5. Yeah, that might be a good idea to use actually, because uh, then um, you can easily counter it. Motivate you quick. Let's see how much um how much damage would Meteor do? And the next turf for a benefit. Huh, decent amount actually. Actually I think I will restore Meteor. Yeah, at least familiar as it is. But Meteor seems a much better choice to restore. Yeah, he does not move. Thank goodness for that. Ugh. See? And he has a crit weight too. <laughs> and that's with Leviathan. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's very risky. Hmm. I went Imperious. Oh, he doesn't crit me. Oh, I'm going to probably have a good, uh, probably because of um, a DA rank. So that's good. But I guess I'll show you in action now because I didn't crit, but see how strong he is? It's ridiculous. You made it this choice, no turning back. I'm well aware of him and I'm ready. I see, that's fine with me. It's pretty cool, it's quite brutal too. Again. Maybe I should give the amulet to you. You do the most damage, so I want you to. There we go. Let's try that. Oh, that's a little better. Yeah, I like that a lot better actually. Hm. See, no hard feelings. I didn't itch the spar to be once or twice, but this kind of fight was never my intention. To be honest, this is pretty hard for me. Just like with Kane, I can't do anything to save my friends right in front of me. I know Kedek, and I felt the same way. But you should also know and this we should also understand more than anyone else why it has to be this way. Yeah. I'm doing this because you're a friend, Sig. Are you ready? Of course. And God. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Pfft. 
<laughs> what is the weight of some area? 15... Well, that's 60, it's actually heavier, yeah. Secret, I'm sorry. I'm really, truly sorry. See ya, you're both kind-hearted and strong. Don't lose those qualities of yours, for few have them both. There's no reason to apologize to me. Just remember who you are, and face me as is, see ya. Yeah, I'm gonna use the last hammer in... Um, yeah. That meteor could come in handy, especially with the more damage I can do with it. Wait a minute. Mm. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Interrupted. Uh, where's mine? Oh, yes. Uh, dang it. Hmm. Who has more strength? See? Even with that, I can easily um, calm them. It's, it's insane. Secret. Anakin, I know you're kind and compassionate person, but for me, this is compassion. Don't forget that. It's, it's not what I want. I wonder, I wish I had another choice. Damn it! I'll do anything just in case. Just a Hit right there. It's still gonna take that risk. And here we look. Yeah, he restores that much health. It's ridiculous. I didn't want to use it up earlier because it's that good. See? Look at that. Almost fully really restored my health. Pretty cool.
so we get the big crit. No. Wait at all. Critical is pretty awesome too, and the unit has a voice line in it as well. Actually, I think I'll do a link description of custom animations, because the similar bosses will have the custom and deaths. <sighs> okay, finish my Fannikin. Rest in peace, secret. Really, something else. Very really stronger than me. That's for sure. I've never been on one to make sentiment but farewells, but it's been fun, Sig. I'm glad that I met you. It's just full scroll now, so I can't do anything. You as well, Kelly. Take care of everything for me, won't you? <laughs> now that I think about it, <laughs> now that I think about it. It's all started because one day you got captured and decided you'd drop all your troubles on me. But I learned more than I could ever imagine. And I have no regrets. Rest assured, I'll handle everything in your stead. Thank you, Kelly. Sigrid, this is truly the last time. I'll see you, isn't it? I'm sorry I couldn't do anything in the end. Don't be like that, Anakin. As soon as I met you, I knew you had great potential in you. And you never let me down, not even for a second. Heh. <laughs> you know, you're the first person to ever see that potential in me. I never thought I would ever amount to much myself. I wanted someone to push, push me on, to help me better myself. So I always try to encourage others instead, hoping that one day they'd encourage me back. And I'd become strong, Secret. To me, you were that person, and I will never, ever 
forget the good you have done. When we get out of here, I will use the power of words to stop conflict before people resort to violence. I'll make it so we don't need any more heroes like you. <laughs> that would be nice, Anakin, my friend. Speaking of getting out, there are two portals here. Originally, one of them was used to travel down to the surface. I think it would take you somewhere near the Focal Mountains. You'll have to find your own way out after that, though. No? Don't worry, Sigrid. We'll find a way out. We always have, haven't we? <laughs> That's true, Anakin. When you finally do get out, get some rest, Anakin. You truly deserve it. I will. And you get some rest too, Sigrid. Dad, son, my son, you've grown to be so brave and strong. I'm so proud of you. Son, I, I owe everything to you, Dad. I'm going to, I'm going for real this time, but you have to move on. You'll be as handsome as your mother was, beautiful. And brave as I was, too, right? Dad, Chun, will you make me a promise? Huh? You'll make it, won't you? Uh, of course, Dad. A long time ago, before this all began, I made a promise to my wife. A beautiful lady named Lily. I told her I'd save her country and protect our son, but I won't be around to do that anymore, Shun. So I need someone to finish the promise. Cherish your friends and be a true knight. Protect your friends and protect everything that's important to you. And when you make your own family, make sure you protect them too. Help those around you. Just like Anakin, live your life without regrets. Just like Kedic, fight for what you believe in. Just like everyone else, these are things you should always do. As for me and your mother, we want you to make sure you always keep your promises. I was never good at keeping mine. Dad, stay with me. Your voice is... it's getting weaker. I always made my last promise ten years ago to Lily. So this time, you, you have to, you have to make the promise, Sean. I know you love me, and that's why I worry. I worry you'll stray from your path and lose your way. But the words of a promise resound like a bell, like a, like a bell, and remind you, they remind you of what's important, of your ambitions, and your ideals, so tell me, what you want from your life, tell me, what's the most important thing you have, and I finally passed on from this world, and make me a true knight vow. I, I, what do I want? What's important to me?
This is the last promise I'll make to you, Dad. <laughs> That's a great one, son. And I know you'll definitely keep it. All yeah, right. <clears throat> Next up is the finale. I'll save this up a save file. Actually, I'm saving the same one because, um, yeah, because of the last um, secret. So yeah, epilogue. Don't worry, Kerrick. We won't follow the same path that Emperor Lewis did. I know it will be tough, but Father and I are ready. To heal both the bodies and minds of our people. We will do whatever it takes, because we love this land. Right, Father? Yes, my daughter. What? At the put what the- oh, I think they got that dialogue to mix it the wrong way around. <laughs> That's the other way around, that was weird. And I suppose we have nothing to worry about, do we, Kerrick? I'm not sure, sure we shouldn't be worrying at all. At the very least, I'd like to believe that the reconstruction of Magnus as a peaceful territory is in good hands. If nothing else, I promise you that. I shall ensure that we do not make the same mistakes as Majesty. The end will be off. Frederick, Rachel, see ya. Thank you for everything, Anakin. We won't forget the kindness you have shown us. Nah, it's nothing. Good luck, okay? Got any last words? That sounds more like a death sentence than a farewell, Gary. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> Can we expect any help from the rest of the archipelago? We're going to need a lot of workers and resources if we're going to truly restore this continent. Once we get things under control, I'm sure we can. Magnus really worked miners on the archipelago to the bone. People started dying, and then they started revolting. Let's just say we need to clean things up now that Magnus has its mouth shut for a while, if you know what I mean. And that's terrible, but I understand. And this is farewell for now, Gary. Hope we can meet again. Yeah, hopefully you're a little more buff than we, than we finally do. Keep working hard, Commanders. We'll see you again. You'll be stopping by Blaine after this? Is that true? Yeah, only for a short while. Just take a little nap. How will you handle things in this year, Alice? The Seraph Knight's first division commander, Liriana, is truly to is trying to curl the political conflict right now. When I first joined, the situation was getting better. And my last reports say that soon the aristocrats will have come to an agreement regarding how an issue will be going. I don't know the details, but that's why I have to be back to go back. Ah, sounds like you won't be getting much rest then. Do take care of yourself, alright Ace? You guys as well. Who is it at least here once things calm, have calmed down a bit, okay? I'll be off now, okay? I should be off on my own as well, my comrades. Eh? What do you mean? We're technically on a borderline, Anakin. We passed here several months ago, don't you remember? The fear is directly east here. It only makes sense. That is correct. The Thora will take charge in the fear for a time being that we may keep the blaze of the other tribes at bay. The rigid intentions from the war are higher yet. Someone must give the people a sense of direction to follow, or the natural tendency of chaos will be resurrected itself once more. It sounds like you have quite the responsibility then. Anakin's right, it won't be easy. If you ever need help, do you hesitate to ask. You will want a secret oldest friend, says. I'm sure he would want us to help you if you want to ask for it. Thank you, Kelly. I will let you know. Until then, my friends, may the winds blow in your favour. I was devastated to hear the news. I had hoped I could one day apologize in person for my actions. I did not think that day would never come. If I may, Majesty, it's quite alright. Your actions spoke for themselves. First Zane, now secret. It seems that our lands will need new heroes to be born. We are to maintain any sort of peace. Indeed, it's not us kings, but the people who build to save the country. I realize this now. The people must be strong and stand on their own two feet. What shall you do, Your Majesty? I will devote everything I have to rebuilding not only Blaine, but the other territories as well. Naturally, it shall take time, but I will neglect no others no longer. That is good to hear. 
be heading back to Valencia ourselves. Is there anything you would like us to tell the Duke? Give him my condolences, he definitely asked. The Valencian people have suffered more than any of us. I see. I will do that. Thank you for everything, Commanders. I bid thee safe travels. Thank you, Commander Leopold. Take care of his majesty. Of course, I will guard with my life. I'm so glad you continue to help us, Anakin. I was afraid you would accept. Right now, I don't have very much choice. The people of Valencia need any help they can get. If I have to be a noble in order to give that help, then I don't mind. It's good to hear. You're so reasonable. What about you, Caleb? What will you do? The same thing I was doing before this war. You mean being a mercenary? Of course. Don't you want to... Don't you want to do more than that, Caleb? You have so much potential. You can become almost anything. Sorry, but I intend to do things my own way. There's going to be a lot of jobs that need to be done. And I can't have any rules or duties holding me back. I'm only going to keep getting stronger, Duke Paul. I see. You seem to have made up your mind then. What about you? What about Sean? What is he doing? He still hasn't recovered, but he's not lost. Deep inside, he still hasn't given up. Perhaps you should try talking to him then. Hmm, Pedic? Yeah? I don't think it's a bad idea. Well, right. Are you done? Almost. But there's still one more person we have to talk to. Another. Haven't you talked to them all? He's talking about you, Sean. What will you do from here? Do you have something in mind? Anakin's just worried, you know. And you aren't worried, and you aren't worried, Kedek. It's alright. Neither of you have to worry. Huh? I'll be fine, so you don't have to worry about me. I want to become a real knight, a knight of Yulia, if I can. I have some things I want to do. And it'd be easier to do them if I become a full-fledged knight. Well, that's great! Sean, you're already amazingly strong for a guy your age. You can become the knight commander in no time at all. Glad to hear you're not looking for revenge or anything. Don't end up like I did, okay? You have friends over the world. Only an idiot would go and neglect your his friends and let himself get hung up on the past. If you ever need anything, the legend mysteries are yours. Kedek, you're really something else. Wait, you got a problem now? No, it's nothing. I say the same back to you. And I say the same back to both of you. It doesn't matter how far away we are from each other, or what kind of path we might choose to live on. As long as we have our memories, our bonds will stay strong. Aren't you do a slightly less cheery farewell, Anakin? Cheesy farewell, Anakin? Well, whatever. My other friends are waiting for me, so I'm heading out. Son, I can't wait to see you get even stronger. I want to fight the son of the greatest hero I ever knew. Don't let me down. I'll be waiting. Alright. No, I won't, Kelly. Anakin. I just hope that the next time we meet, you're actually awake. Though I'm probably expecting way too much, aren't I? Bah, you're such an ass, Kelly. I hope you never change. <laughs> Thanks, Anakin. Let's meet again soon. We will, Kelly. I'm sure of it. And here we go, here's the turn count. We did most of the chat we actually did all the chapters this time, including uh the stupid side chapter. Uh let's see. Not know this ruins. Searing blades, that was it. Ugh, that chapter was pointless. Yeah. Seven and five turns, huh? The restoration of Magnus took many long years, but at its front, Rachel would always be their guiding reader, guiding her empire to peace and prosperity. Kind porch po patriot. Frederick, Relic of Magnus, left with no recourse but to change. To change, Frederick used his knowledge to ensure that Magnus would not repeat the same mistakes it had been it had before. Yeah, don't skip anything if you want the last secret, um, so that's why I skip anything, the gladiator. Once order returned to the Western Archipelago, Gary once again became the champion of its renowned arena, always testing his strength. Abyssal Mania. Some say he was emotional, others crazy over. Those that truly knew him knew that he only sought to research and gain knowledge. 
Attila sailed. Elias returned to her home with Olivia, giving her utmost to it as a seraph knight. She would one day become the leader of its flying army. The Lurker. <laughs> His day as an assassin now over, Shadow became one of the finest blacksmiths, stating that weapons alone cannot do right or wrong. <laughs> Trembling Bandit. <laughs> With the help of Haz, Wicked was able to return to Afia and stay there in peace for the rest of his years. Drummer Change Storm became one of the finest men of Fora. It is said he one day found a field of pineapple, one of his lifelong dreams. Honorable Monk Arthur helped bring back the care. Keshaya's last lost honor, through many years of repent, his lust for violence and battle never changed. <laughs> Chief of a new era, Haz was ridic ridiculed many times by his fellow tribes for his westernized ways. However, four were prosperous under his reign. <laughs> hmm. No one understood why, but Risk's personality would change often, including his hair colour. <laughs> However, his loyalty to his captain, Drake, never changed. <laughs> Vengeful Villager Having finally rid of his vengeance, Sai returned to Valencia in hopes of building a new home to replace the one lost by war. He would die to general. His actions forgiven, Harold returned to Magnus. To start a library that would archive some of the greatest books on Sodom. Poetic Spear. With his father defeated, Max left the army and turned his habit of creating poetry into a living for himself. The Benevolent. <laughs> Noah roamed the lands as a mercenary for many years, telling those who would listen of his unprecedented benevolence. <laughs> the White Knight. The war against madness was over, but Liam still had much to do. Stories of the White Knight's deeds could be heard anywhere. Son of a Champion. As a, as a son of Siegfried, people had ex high expectations for Sean, and he met them all. It is said that the promise he made to his father spurred him on. Builder of Hope Mark expanded his skills as a bark carpenter and led the reconstruction of the many homes lost in the war, including his own. <coughs> Faithful Knight Cohen fulfilled his dream of becoming a true knight, though not before Sean. He thinks back fondly on the times he in the Athea with Siegfried. <laughs> Cheerful Wings, Inanna continued her work as a mercenary, flying through the sky on her Pegasus. Nelly, her smile lit the dwindling flames in people's hearts. Spirited sword. Shooter wandered the land as a mercenary, often letting his competitive nature get himself into trouble with others. Strategic mind. After saving Captain Drake, Ben redoubled his efforts to better himself, becoming a master tactician, praised in books of tactical warfare. Wandering maiden. Separated from Ben once more, Emma travelled the lands, helping those in need. Many suitors approached her, but all were rejected. <laughs> Immortal soldier, his sword unbroken, Tekken's name was feared throughout the lands. He would often spar with his only equal, Kelly. Radiant Rider Lily became the commander of her own squad of Pegasi, using them to help send supplies 
and messages all around the continent. Overworldly Archer, at the end of the war, Zack mysteriously vanished. You must say he headed west, back to the faraway lands from which he came. Tearful child, the war finally over, Sia returned to Alicia, hoping to reconcile with her family. She grew into a beautiful and mature lady. Grand here, Tarika returned to her home in Natis village for a while, before starting a therapy service to help heal people both physical, physically and mentally. The Coyote His days of all over, Ash took various mercenary jobs to help sustain himself. It said he one day joined the strongest mercenary group alive. Emotional Wizard His sister was avenged, but Itsuki had no family, by blood to return to. Instead, he found new ways to put his magic to use. Old pacifist and pacifist, Levian laid down his weapons for a final time, lending Kenneck his wisdom instead. He gave him these words, I leave my peace to you. Sly prankster, with the war over, affairs showed his true colours, causing havoc with pranks, even within his own group. However, no one could ever stay mad at him. The Fairy King, Kellick, with his friends of past and present beside him, Kellick continued to strive for his ideals. He would later die in a battle to save the world. Scarlet Raven, Karina was loyal and caring, dedicating herself to helping both Kellick and those in need. People would often remark on her beautiful scarlet hair. Scarlet even her. Huh? Valorous Knight. Though he often seemed reckless. Stupid. <laughs> Those who knew Eduardo understood that he only wanted to protect what was important to him. Silent Cluts. In time, Kevin learned to control his clumsiness and became a Knight Commander in the Magnan Army, earning his family's rec recognition. Named Soldier, Ace gave up on trying to make a name for himself and became an instructor instead. On his first day on the job, everyone already knew of him. <laughs> Sleepy Vagrant, Anakin soon gave up his title as a noble and delegated himself to helping orphans and the homeless, giving words of hope to victims of war. Any other credits? Oh, by the way, this music um, is from uh, <laughs> eBay Chronicles. <laughs> but yeah, um, the game just had a few problems with it. But it hasn't aged too well. But for what it is, it's still pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, Blaze have pretty much mostly made this game. But he had a few helper friends. But still, I still think it's a pretty good game for one main reason that it's actually complete, like properly, which is pretty much the best part basically, because there are tons of hacks firing there, but the game just isn't complete at all, or they just give up. And you can't blame them because they're doing this out of their own pockets or money or whatever, or their own time. So, of course, some people just give up halfway through, but sometimes people don't understand making a game. You you gotta be there for a long haul. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> Many years. But yeah, make sure you watch all of the credits here because you can't skip it because I think you need to watch all to actually get um, the final secret. It should pop up afterwards to tell you.
but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's voice acting. <laughs> I always best to even manage to get some of that in there. But, yeah. <laughs> My friend throwing up me as I himself as he made this game. <laughs> Okay, we got secret number seven. People don't die until they are forgotten. So, let's discard this. Congratulations, you've beaten the game, but there's still even more to do. Continue on if you wish. So, there we go. So, now I'm going to do it right here. Save like so. Ah, oh, screw it, save it like so. The Constellation. Welcome to the Constellation! It may not seem like much, but there are plenty to do here. Pay attention because I only say all oh, this once, okay? First, there are several stars occurring in the corner of space. Northwest Star lets you do one or two things. You can either view the credits or say and reload the chapter. It should let you re pick which units are fueled on the Constellation map. So but there's not much enough space for all units at one time. The southeast star is where my husband Jake resides. He actually does forge in different terms. In fact, if you prove your worth in battle, he might even give you some of the weapons of gorges. He's a nice guy, huh? If you need to train yourself, there's an arena here as well. It's a purple star all the way to the bottom left. To be honest, the battles here are really hard, so you probably need to use at least a little if you hope to have any chance of winning. But hey, at least your yellow star next to them can help heal you if you need them. There are armies of tear stars and the vendors of blue stars. And even the secret shop also looking the purple star. But even if I told you where is it you need a member's card to get access to it, you might forget before then. And there's no point in all these resources if you have nothing to use them on. So that's where the astral biff comes into play. By seeing any of your characters that enter one of the white stars, you can travel to one of the many stars of constellation. It's a rather strange phenomenon, but each star is like an alternate dimension, and you have to defeat all the enemies within that star before you can move on to the next one. But sometimes even the, that might not be enough to get you to the next star. Don't worry too much though, any character you, that you defeat will join your party after the star is completed. At the same time, if you try to revisit the star later on, the guardians should retain their stats while fighting the original stats and the characters. However, Having two of the same character may cause some slight damage in the game, and I pilot with advance. In any case, the first star located here. But as far as we go after, you have to guess. The constellation is based on real constellations, so I'll tell you that. Continuing on, the green star on the top lets you enter the galactic arena, where one of you to enter a battle against countless enemies. The best way to see what is special really is like to try it yourself. But don't expect to be beaten it without a lot of training and preparation. Beat the first eight of the ten stars, there is this star next to it, which contains special bonus content giving insights into the main story. And I know that even my sweet voice gets tiring, but before I go, there's one th there are three more things you need to know. First of all, your character's stats and everything else don't carry over from the main game to the post game or astral rift. Second of all, you can only have four characters in your party at once. It's a bit cool, but the only way to clear space in your party is for your units to fall in battle or use the killing floor. See the marked space there? Just root any unit there. And then we move from the party to make more room for new characters. Sadly, if you want to recruit characters to travel deep in the astral rift, this is the only way to do it, so and they won't join otherwise. Actually, this world isn't here quite the same world as before. What happens here stays in here. Don't be surprised if you see people you thought had died, or if your battles are really difficult. No one's going to bathe you or anything goes, okay? So do whatever it takes to beat whatever it is thrown at you. I know you can do it, best of luck. So, you bunch of money there. So, yeah, this is basically like um, the post game where you can go through stars, arenas, you can talk to people. It's pretty much your choice. 
I'm not going to bother with this though. But you can if you want. So you go to the new chapter, pretty much you can restart with the translation. But yeah, that's pretty much the post game. I'm not going to do that though. That's for the actual game itself. I still think it's pretty impressive. <laughs> for the time, back in 2012, 2013 when it was complete. It isn't perfect by any means. Oh heavens no, it has its problems. But for what we do have, I think it's actually fantastic. They did a pretty good job here. I do agree that near the end, I feel like some of the worst. Especially with the heart, just getting killed off like that was stupid. But um, besides that though, I still think most fighters game is pretty good. I mean I aged well, especially compared to other fire impacts, which I've made a lot more strides and stuff. But for the time, I think it was still a really good game. I just wanted to show it off. But I'm going to take a long break for a while. Especially since um, now, uh, now everyone's pretty much caught up. We're going back to actual studies. I'm going to do an update video later, discuss what I'm going to do. But one thing, I'm not going to do any more RPGs. <laughs> I've been doing way too many on my channel lately. Not saying, not saying I don't like RPGs, I think the problem is I need a bit more variety. And I'm on a bit of a break from RPGs for a while. If I do want to keep doing them, I'm going to do them off screen and not do record them. <laughs> just, you know, get a bit of a break for a bit. <laughs> but they're going to be for a while now, because uh, half time's almost over and I'm probably going to call it soon. But with that, this is Mastin347, Game of the Title Object Platformer. Stay classy, and I hope you enjoyed my uh, playthrough of The Last Promise.